at the world's most elite and controversial campground. That would be the East Lawn of Columbia University. Faced with the 2 p.m. deadline to clear the campus or risk suspension, hundreds of students reacted the same way they've reacted to every other ultimatum, by defying it. So the vote is whether or not we continue to stay past 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Do I get a second? Second. All hands in favor? Yeah, that was the vote they took to stay on campus and defy that order to leave. Now, the university did call in police to clear the camp on April 18th, and they arrested more than 100 students and sparked an uproar at other campuses where student protesters were quick to erect, erect campgrounds of their own in solidarity. And the tent city at Columbia University was rebuilt in a matter of days. So Columbia University is now in a tense standoff refusing to cut off any ties to Israel, as the students are demanding, and issuing ultimatums that the students are ignoring. Let's go right now to News Nation's Rich McHugh, who's live at Columbia University. What's the latest, Rich? Hi, Elizabeth. Well, the latest is absolute stalemate here at Columbia. We're looking at uh, Butler Library. That's right behind me where the students and, and the, the entrance to the encampment those are faculty uh, who, who've kind of been linking arms all day, preventing the administration and, and many of the students actually from entering the encampment. Over here on the left, we have students who recently uh, stood up there with their flags of Israel to kind of counterbalance the, the flags of Palestine inside. Let's take a look, a live look inside the encampment over here. It's, it's pretty much unchanged. You see all the tents still up. Uh, it's been relatively quiet here for most of the day. Uh, we, we thought when we walked in that maybe we'd see some of them packing up because of these disciplinary actions that were threatened. But instead, it was an absolute carnival uh, with people parading around, uh, around the encampment in support, uh, chanting everything from Intifada to Free Palestine. I, I've, you know, I went to school here, Elizabeth. I've never seen anything like it. And uh, it's, it's quite something. I did speak to uh, one student just a few minutes ago, because um, I'm genuinely curious, like, how do you think this ends? Is everybody in uh, agreement with this? Uh, I think we have that sound. Uh, take a look. What happens next? Like, what, what, do you, what do you make of the university's response to the, to the 2 p.m. deadline that nobody's kind of policing? Sure. Well, as for what happens next, your guess is as good as mine. The problem is when the university sets these deadlines and there's no teeth to them, it doesn't mean anything, especially when they put out an email basically ruling out bringing in the, the police department. These encampment folks know that, and they know it's basically just, just a bluff, and they're willing to call the university's bluff day after day after day. Now, I also spoke with a, another uh, student earlier, and she was out here right at the 2 p.m. deadline. She said she did hear some, some of the students coming out of the encampment saying, like, enough with this. But from the looks of it, uh, it looks like everybody is here and, and in it for the long haul. And this is just going to continue on and on okay. uh, with no end in sight. Hey, hey, Rich, where you're standing, there's supposed yeah. to be a stage in two and a half weeks for commencement, for a graduation. What's going to happen with yeah. graduation at Columbia University if these guys are still camping out? You know, that's anybody's guess, because if you look over here, this lawn, that's another one of the quads. That's supposed to be all chairs. And then further left, up by Butler, that's, that's where, like, the, the speeches are for graduation. And then this lawn, where the encampment is, is supposed to be filled with people and students as well. So uh, the school has said, look, we have to have this down by graduation. It's just not going to, it's yeah. not acceptable. Well, we'll see. So we'll I think see. there's some resolution coming, but... I don't know. Yeah. I think until they start expelling these students, they're just going to sit and do whatever they want. Uh, Rich McHugh, thanks so much for that live report from Columbia University. Thank thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.